Look what came today. Let's find out what is inside this mystery art box. In we go. What do we have this month? <laughs> Sticker. That looks very familiar. We've seen something similar to this, like in our lives, you know, in general. We'll have to look and see what that is. Brochure, we will save that for later. Cookie eraser set, how cute. So we must be doing something that we might need erasers for. This looks like a pencil bag. Let's see. Wow, that's really nice. This is like real thick canvas, quite nice. Probably holds 20, yeah, 24 it said on the package. Wow, very fancy. We have mixed media postcards. We've received Strathmore watercolor postcards before, but this is the first time that we've received mixed media postcards. So that's fun. Fancy jelly belly jelly beans. <laughs> what flavors are these? Can you guys guess? I don't have a clue. I don't ever buy jelly beans. <laughs> I'll probably eat them. I just don't buy them. A Rembrandt Splendor. <laughs> I assume this might be some kind of blender, but we'll have to read to see what that's about. Graphic sketch markers. We've already received this set several times, but I believe that has been in the Palletful Packs box, not Smart Art. We've been receiving a lot of Spectrum Noir in the Smart Art boxes and the graphics, the Marabou, in the Palletful Packs, so I have these all already. And I will probably just pull out my old ones and use them unless the tips are different. We have a bullet nib and a chisel nib. I'm pretty sure they're the same because I remember this shoe. Very nice colored pencil. No, not colored pencil. What is this? Uh, mechanical pencil. So the nice thick lead. That's kind of cool. Do you guys see that? And this is the one that you can rotate the thing around to tell you what leads you have on the inside. It looks like the only choices you get are B and 2B. <laughs> Maybe I'm not doing it right. I will have to read the directions because the little thing inside's also... Oh, the little sticker's coming off. Well, that's not going to be very useful for very long. <laughs> Oops. You're just going to have to remember what lead you have in there. That's really cool, though. And then Brun... <laughs> I never can say that right. Brunzil? Brunzil? colored pencils. Now, we got these in a smart art box before, and yes, it has been a while, quite a while actually. I lived in my old house and so it was definitely in 2017 or 2018, and I think I just got rid of them. I put them in the giveaway that I had when I reached a thousand subscribers, and I don't think anyone picked them or that set, but after that, my son and his now wife, <laughs> they got married. Anyway, they came up and picked through some of my art supplies and I'm pretty sure they took the Brunzel colored pencils. So I may have to use these for this little project even though I know that it's probably not something I necessarily will keep around long term. Let's see what the project is. Real quick before I get to the project, let me explain the brochure. Smart Art Box is unique in that it gives you this brochure, which you don't get in... Well, you are starting to get in some of the other subscription boxes, but Smart Art started it. They give you the history, the project tools, so everything that came with this. Let's see what that splendor is, by the way. It's a colorless splendor. Okay, so that's, that's what I thought. And then they give you a project. So it looks like we're doing pop art. That is actually going to be really fun. And then they give you an advanced project to do. So a more simple project, and then a skills challenge project which is kind of fun. And then they give you pointers on the back along with some prompts. The prompts this month are citrus, melted, crunchy, and icy. Nice. So if you do all of the prompts and you post them on social media, now I just learned last month you have to post them on certain social medias. Like putting it just here on YouTube for me apparently doesn't count. <laughs> it doesn't say that in the instructions, but it needs to be on Instagram, or Twitter, uh, somewhere else I can't remember. I'll have to look at that email if I still have it. Apparently, YouTube alone does not count. Anyway, that's okay. So you just have to post it using these hashtags. You'll earn points that you can redeem for discounts off your box. And if you save up all your points, you get a free box eventually if you'd like. So I will think about these prompts with all these supplies and do something fun. We are going to start out with the pop art aspect of this whole project. And we are going to do a lemon. 
So we only have this small mixed media postcard paper to work on. So our things will be quite tiny, which could be challenging, could be fun, we'll see. And then I did have, I do have all of these markers. So the exact same set, just like I thought. Here they all are. So I'll just use the ones that I already have open. I hardly use them anyway, so might as well not open and keep another package. So I'll put this in the giveaway. And then I had this exact pencil tin of these before, like I mentioned. However, they were in the stuff that I already let go to someone else. Now they're out of order. I do have these still though from a subscription box, which I thought was a smart art. I don't remember for sure though. We'll have to look that up at some point later. <laughs> Not in this video, in other words, but these are the triangle soft gripped ones. And I did keep these. These are in my pencil drawer over there in the dresser. I don't know if they're the same because these here are the Expression series. They're not soft grip, they're the wood barrel. And they have this description on the back, but these don't say anything on the back other than triangle shaped pencil with a soft touch coating for an excellent grip. So I have no idea if they're the same. So I guess we will use these. All right, we should get an eraser out. Actually, I might not. I, I know for myself, I will never use these. <laughs> again. So I should probably just put them in the giveaway bin as well. This I'm keeping. I don't know what I'm going to put in it yet, but I love it and I'm going to keep it. So this has the sharpener on it for this little pencil inside. So you would pull it off and you could, I think you stick it in there and sharpen it. Yeah, it looks like it. Anyway, I don't know how that works. Maybe because it's already sharp or I'm just using the wrong part or something. The ruler that I just found the other day, I have already misplaced. I think it's just under some of the stuff I unpacked from teaching my watercolor class. I finally unpacked all that stuff and I finished teaching that class quite a few weeks ago, but oh well, you know, <laughs> why be in a hurry to unpack anything, right? Okay, so I actually realized that, well, new, but thought I could just make them the same. Anyway, these lemons all need to basically be the same. I think that it would be better suited here to do one lemon and cut it out and then kind of make the outline of the lemon on all of those the same. I think that would be a lot easier. Okay, we have lemon. Now we need scissors, we'll cut it out. And trace it onto all of these, hopefully in the same way. So I go ahead and start right in on the project and I'm definitely more interested in using the markers again than I am the colored pencils. However, the colored pencils did kind of surprise me later and I'll talk more about that when I get there. Anyway, you guys might be wondering because in last month's Smart Art, I did tell you that I was canceling Smart Art subscription and I have another box here and I will have one more. I did mention in that video, however, there were two more boxes coming <laughs> if you heard that part. Anyway, so. This is one of them because I had already paid for this month to come. You pay basically a month in advance. And so that one had already come out of my billing. And then we're getting one more box because I had enough Peacock Rewards points to get an entire free box. So I definitely want to take advantage of that before I quit the subscription. Anyway, it's kind of bittersweet <laughs> losing an art subscription box. It is really fun to receive these because you never know what's going to be inside or what you're going to be challenged with this time. But basically, the smart art supplies have just kind of piled up in my giveaway bin rather than stuff that I have kept lately. So like the last six months or more, I don't know. We'd have to go back through and watch all my videos. It just seems like they are mostly going in the giveaway bin instead of stuff that I actually want to keep and use. So I will be keeping my Palette Pack subscription. So you can look forward to that every month. And then I still have all those old subscription boxes under my desk that we'll need to get through. So there will still be plenty of art subscription boxes here. Now back to the projects, I guess pop art style is kind of a repeating style. At least that kind of seemed like it, what it was when I looked in the, what do you call that, the brochure with the instructions. So I am doing a lot of repeating, but I didn't want to do repeats on every single art little project here. So I do do some in the center where I just put diagonals out from them. Diagonals, they're kind of like stripes actually. You'll see how 
that works when I get to it here on the video. But anyway, this one is my favorite. Little popsicles. I just love the little rocket popsicles. <laughs> and I did use the colored pencils for the sticks, but definitely like to stick to the markers. They're just really fun to use and they worked really well on this mixed media postcard paper. So definitely a good combination there. These markers and that paper worked great together. In fact, I used the pencils more later and they also work great on this paper. In fact, the pencils worked so good I was kind of surprised and decided that maybe I would keep them for my coloring books after all. So we'll dig them out and try them in the future with one of my mini coloring books and see if I still like them after that or not. Okay, this leaf here turns into a disaster. I erased this thing so many times. I should have probably got a card at the end when I was all done, but uh, I just used it. And I couldn't get this leaf to be symmetrical. I'm like, oh, forget it. And I erase it one more time, yet again. Anyway, I finally just start with the tip in the center and get a good enough leaf. And this is the one that I used the colored pencils on almost exclusively, with the exception of the background. And yeah, wow, I put the yellow on, orange and a brown, you'll see that coming up. And then I put the yellow and orange and brown back over the top and they layered so well on this paper. I was so impressed, really liked it. Anyway, I'll leave you to watch that while I talk about a few other things. I am leaving the day you are watching this video, Friday, for a 10 day trip. So I'm bringing some traveling art supplies with me. I'll explain what those are in that video next Friday, most likely, if I get time to even video that. But I will be doing a lot of artwork while I'm away, at least that's what I'm hoping, and hopefully with that Himi Mia set, because I want to continue my Use It Up series, like how long does it take to use up watercolor series. And to do that, you have to actually use the watercolors. <laughs> So I need to try and use them a little bit more often than I have been, otherwise this is just going to take all of our lifetimes to figure out. So I will try to paint with them a little bit every single day. That's the goal anyway. I know I'm going to probably miss a few days. I am visiting friends and family while I am gone, and so yeah, it's probably not going to happen every day. But I'm bringing my camp trailer. Hopefully we'll sleep in that every night so I will have a little time to myself every night. And I will try and film that for you guys as often as I possibly can because I think that'll be so much fun. I am bringing my studio lights, my camera set up, or maybe just my phone. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> it's Thursday afternoon. I have to decide since I'm leaving oh, tomorrow, the day you're seeing this video. But it should be fun. I'm going to bring my Edger sketchbook and have a blast painting as often as possible. Also, right before recording this, I just finished filming the palette fill packs, unboxing, and using all of those supplies, and oh my gosh, <laughs> spoiler alert, I had so much fun, and I love how my project turned out. So if you are new and don't want to miss that, definitely hit the subscribe button down below, fill in the bell for all notifications, because it's going to be a fun one. Okay, here they are, all four together. What do you guys think? That was kind of fun. I did all four prompts, if I can even remember them now. Crunchy, because fall leaves are crunchy. Icy, melting, or melt, melty, what is it? Melted, well, it's not fully melted yet, but it will be soon. And citrus, definitely fun to work in a different style. These markers are really nice, as usual. Colored pencils surprised me, way juicier than I thought, which I think I've probably already told you. And this was great. Another mystery art box. Lots of fun had. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Really appreciate your time. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. This in smart. <laughs> the way. No. We are. Oh, stay. At least I think it's just under. Sorry about that. Hit the camera. Forgot to use this blender. So let's try that out real quick here. You guys see the difference? We'll do this whole half of the leaf. 
pushing really hard. All right, can you tell the half it's blended? I guess in person only kind of, like the whites here of the paper are filled in. So let's try that in these two sections that have some white, see what we come up with. Yeah. Okay. And what about over here? Whoops. <laughs> well, it definitely makes it look... Well, it's going to say more finished. So, yeah, I guess that's accurate. Done and done.